Hey, what's going on guys? I'm not gonna wait for you guys to hop on. I hope and pray that many of you guys will hop on uh, with me today, or at least see this at some later point. Uh, I'm still at Summit. Uh, Gabby and I uh, were just exhausted and we fell asleep last night at about 6 p.m. and woke up. Uh, well, I woke up at around midnight and set my alarm and got up early to work and there's a ton of announcements and you've seen I posted in the team page or um, Adrian posted in the team page. I put it out on the live video or on the weekly coach email that I sent out this morning. And um, like there's a ton of stuff and I'm gonna talk about those in the team call on Wednesday on the 30 minute mentor series. We're gonna go over all those details. You can actually check the post that Adrian put and watch the YouTube videos and, and really educate yourself right now. And I see you on here, Adrian, so I'm gonna be very interactive with you and hey, what's up, Mark? I'm excited to go to the museum with you in a few hours. Uh, but I'm gonna just share from my heart. Uh, like you guys know, I usually go live on my personal page. I take my video, I put it on YouTube and. And I want you guys to know that's all marketing stuff, the, the confidence that I lead and direct the team with publicly uh, is to help you guys, is to help other coaches in the network, it's to attract people to our tribe that I can sponsor and bring onto this team and uh, this one's just for you guys, for my personally sponsored coaches and I want you guys to know that I woke up and, I, sorry, <laughs> I worked really hard this morning and I felt really overwhelmed and, uh, sorry. I know many of you guys probably feel like that as well. A lot of uh, great emotions um, of everything coming out, the excitement, the energy that you felt, uh, the sort of realignment that we felt with Beachbody Corporate, that they hear us, that we're on the right path, that we're doing the right thing, that our mission is important. I'm gonna gather myself real quick. <laughs> um, so we, we felt that, and those of you that, that weren't here, uh, I hope that you can feel that through me, and I hope that you can feel it through the rest of the team as they uh, share on team calls, hopefully as they get live in here and share with you the importance of our mission and our products and how we can change lives. But I've felt overwhelmed because like it was it was cool seeing Jennifer Greenberg go up on stage and, and be celebrated as a million dollar earner. That's something that's happened and we're excited about and we can celebrate. And it felt, I felt for the first time bad I felt bad or not good or fulfilled going on, sorry, going on stage as an elite five-time team. Like there's only eight teams that have done it that long and that's something we should be proud of. But I wasn't proud for the mere fact that I saw I helped zero coaches advance to one star diamond the past year. I helped zero coaches, new coaches go to elite this past year. And our three elite coaches that we did have missed elite. So it's the first year that I was the only elite coach out of my personally sponsored coaches that were celebrated as elite on that team and I'm not okay with that. And it's been overwhelming and like, uh, for you guys to know, this is the first time I've ever sat in a workshop. I've taught at every single single summit. This is the first year I didn't teach at summit. And so it felt good to sit with the team and be able to learn and take notes. And maybe that's why I'm more overwhelmed as well, because I have all these things that I need to change personally. And I was writing things out, things that I need to change. What can we do different? And and the first thing is like, how can we be six-time elite? We got to be six-time elite. We got to be six-time elite. But I don't want it to be six time elite if I have no new elite coaches, if I have no new star diamond coaches, if I have no new you guys getting the $500 goal that you want, it's not fulfilling to me to be able to do that. So I'm sitting here overwhelmed and meditating and praying this morning about what do we need to do? What, what do we need to do different? And I, I kept picturing Carl up there sitting on the stage saying, I need you, me and you, like, just like Carl, guys, I started this journey with a pure love of P90X and helping people in the hopes that I could make $200 to $300 a week so my wife wouldn't have to work. I never expected a team this large and I sit up here like super confident of like, we're going and we're powerful and we're this elite team, but I'm just as scared as every single one of you guys. I want you guys to know that. And just as overwhelmed at times, just as, as afraid, just as, a, as scared. And... Uh, I, I sat down here this morning and, what's up Garrett, 
I sat, I sat here this morning. I, I was going to get in the pool, but it's raining. So I sat under this umbrella in complete silence and just praying for the first time, not like, hey, I, w- I want us to be an elite team. I just basically said, I am aligning and will continue as I have this past year. My values with your, your values, God. What do you want from this team? What do you want from me? What do I do? I'm overwhelmed. And I just sat in silence. And I, I interrupted at one time to hop onto the team page or into our Summit group page to ask our coaches that are here at Summit to share their takeaways. I got a text from Garrett that was like an answer to my prayer about, like, I have amazing people on this team and I want you guys to know that you guys are amazing, that God has called you to something greater for your lives. But I sat there just feeling like Carl, like, I, I need you to sit next to me and we can be scared together and we can be afraid together and we can be in pain together. But I want you guys to understand and know that on the other side of pain is happiness. If we can make it through the painful moments and overcome the scary moments, that's when we become warriors and we become brave and we become stronger. But we, I feel like I'm doing it alone. And I, and I know many of you guys think like, Scotty's so busy. But guys, I feel alone and I feel afraid more than half of the days that I'm a beach body coach. And I need you guys beside me. I need you guys being warriors with me. I cannot, like I can't run into battle as a strong, bold, valiant, fearless warrior by myself. If I run and nobody runs with me, I'm gonna be destroyed and that's what I feel like is happening. And I need you guys to run into that fearless with me. That's how we're gonna win. And we're gonna lose battles and we're gonna lose battles. But if we all run together, we can become stronger and we can win the bigger war against ending this trend of obesity and helping you guys get out of the unfulfilling lives and jobs that you guys have, but it's going to take us doing it together. And I sat here in silence after I was popped in the team page a little bit longer. And it was like, I can hear it now. Like I can hear the, the, the horns. I can hear the buzz of whatever I hear out there, the cars. Um, but it became completely silent to me as I was sitting here. And I heard this voice really quiet. And the voice said to me, I hear you. It said, I hear you. And it said, can you hear me now? And like, I didn't hear anything after that. I didn't experience anything other than that than this sense of calmness this sense of peace that we are going to be okay, that we're going to do some pretty incredible things. And I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to figure it out as we go and we're going to become more disciplined, more passionate, and more driven about this mission than we've ever been before. We're going to stay aligned in our core values and become the people that God needs us to be to impact and change lives around the world. So my challenge to you guys is to to know that you're not alone and that I need you to do this with me. And I don't, like honestly, I don't wanna go across the stage as a six-time elite coach if I don't see you guys celebrated as the one-star diamond you have a goal to be or the two-star or the five-star diamond elite or whatever it is that you have set out in your personal goals of what you want to achieve. I don't wanna be there if you guys aren't there in Indianapolis. So the next thing, that I wrote down that came to my mind as before I wrote this video is I'm a people pleaser and I'm being vulnerable by telling you guys that I want you guys to know uh, that I I need to change the way that I that I coach I'm still gonna be the same Scotty I'm gonna be the same driven um, but I need to work together with you guys but I thought it made me think back to um, who was telling it uh, uh, the baseball oh it was in the leadership Um, training that we had and Kim Carver was up there talking after Brendan Bouchard talked about a baseball analogy and as I thought about that baseball analogy I thought about my life and my baseball coach when I was younger that helped us that took us to the Little League World Series and I I, I wish I could hop up and do this but my earphones would, would pop up but I thought about what made what made me in Little League World Series go on to win like in the contest of the World Series the fastest base runner and I'm going to tell you what it was. It's because I was the weakest player on the team. Like, I, I still always wondered how I got on there. Was it because the coach was my best friend's dad? <laughs> 
But how, how come I became a part of the World Series team? How come I became the fastest runner in the entire World Series for base running? And it was because a coach believed in me. But not necessarily believed me. And I, I feel like this is where my weakness as a coach is and where I need to change. He believed in me. And I believe in every single one of you guys. I want you to know that as you watch this video. But what that coach did to me and where I feel my weakness is as a coach let me explain my weakness as a coach is I believe in all of you and I'm the coach that's sitting here like you guys have what it takes. I believe in you, Adrian. I believe in you, Garrett. I believe in you, Mark. You have what it takes and you don't, sometimes you don't show up and you don't work hard and you don't stay committed to your workouts and you don't read books and you don't come to the team calls and you don't actually invite people. And my weakness as a coach is I just say, you can do it. Like, let's come tomorrow. Let's just come on and do this. You have what it takes. But I'm not the strong coach that I need to be, and I'm I'm make I'm drawing the line in the sand, and I'm going to be the strong coach like my little league coach is that made me a champion, because he wouldn't have made me a champion, being the the smallest player on the team, uh, the shyest, weakest, least confident player in the team to go on to be what I became. So I'm going to be like that coach to you, and know what that coach did? I was the weakest player. I played shortstop and third base, and what would happen when we would be at practice and we'd be Doing the fundamentals, the grounding, swinging the bat, uh, throwing, pitching, throwing from the outfield, catching everything we did. Guys, if I miss the ball, if I'm, I'm playing third base and he hits the ball to me and I just throw my glove, I don't follow the right technique. Let's say, let's say I don't put my knee on the ground, put my ball, sacrifice my body to stop that ball. Let's say I just throw my, my mitt down, the ball goes under it. He didn't say, oh, good try. I saw you through your mitt down. You tried. You moved towards the ball. Like, let's get it next time. He did not do that. Guys, even when I would get up there and throw my knee down, perfect technique, get in front of it, the ball slams against my chest. I miss the ball. I miss the throw to first. And I do everything right, but I didn't succeed by throwing the ball to first and getting the out. Guys, know what happened? He didn't say, good job, you did the proper technique. Well, he did say, you did the proper technique, but you still missed it. Whether I did the right technique or the wrong technique and I missed the ball, if I missed the ball, we had to sprint the outside of the four baseball fields. We had to drop our mitt on the ground and sprint around the outside of the baseball fields. And we had to come back, exhausted, get in front of the ball again, hit the ball, and if we do the right technique and miss again, we sprint the field again. So he conditioned us to do the right techniques. He conditioned us to sacrifice our bodies and put our bodies in front of the ball and to be able to stop that ball. And I became the best third, third baseman. I became uh, a member of the World Series team and we went to the World Series and I became, guys, you know why I became the fastest runner? I got the trophy for the fastest runner, base runner at the, at the World Series for Little League because I was the weakest player and my coach challenged me and every time that I didn't do the right technique or I missed the ball, he made me sprint the field and because of my weakness, it became, I became strong in other aspects. So my challenge to you guys is I'm going to work this and, and I'm going to offend some of you guys and I'm, I'm going to be okay with that because it offended me, it pissed me off when my coach, when I did the proper technique and I still missed the ball had to sprint the field. It pissed me off, but I'm so grateful today because it created who I am. That coach created the man that I am today. So some of you guys may not like it. I'm still gonna be the loving Scotty that I am, but I'm gonna be strong with you guys. If you do all the proper techniques, you do your workouts, you drink your Shakeology, you do your invites and you miss your goal of success club and that's your goal, I'm not gonna say, good job, you tried your hardest. We're going to dig in and I'm going to challenge you to become better. I'm going to, I'm going to make you sprint harder. I'm going to make you do the disciplines and sprint harder and practice the techniques even harder so that we do not miss the success club goal the next time, that we do not miss your goal of diamond the next time, that we do not miss you getting the $250 diamond bonus at the next quarter. So that's the coach that I'm going to become. I think that's the biggest takeaway that I've come. There's all these strategies that we, we have to implement. We have to work together to build. Um, but I think that's the biggest lesson that I took from this is I can't be the soft coach that I am. I have to be strong with you. Um, I have to help you understand your thinking and the way that you act and, and make sure that you that I challenge you to do more. If your goal is to do more and be more and you're not being that, then I'm going to make you sprint. I'm going to make you run. And some of you might not like that, but it's what I need to do. 
that's what I need to do to become the better coach. So um, I, this went a lot longer than I wanted it to go. Hey, Brooke. Hey, Heather. Um, but I need you guys. I need you to sit in the chair next to me, and we need to do this together, and I'm going to be sprinting and running and, and, and doing this with you. So I'm excited. Wednesday, we'll go over all the technical details, but I wanted to let you the heart behind, know the heart behind how I'm feeling, what I'm going through, and what I expect for you guys. And uh, so I got a little bit crybaby-ish on you there. But I love you guys, and uh, we have a lot of work to do, and I can't do it alone. And I, I want to truly be able to say we're the best team in Beachbody, Okay. I love you guys, and safe travels to everybody that's traveling home and to everybody else that's at home. Go back and watch the live streams. Watch the videos people are putting. Educate yourself. Like, Don't sit around and wait for me to teach you on Wednesday. Go in and like stay up till 2 a.m., get up at 4.30 a.m. and learn and educate and get in there and invite, guys. Like, Don't wait for me. Like, I'm going to be here teaching you, but you, if, if you're waiting for me to tell you what to do, um, I'm telling you, you're not, um, you're not showing up to practice on your own. Uh, you're not showing up to practice the fundamentals on your own. What makes a great, I mean the baseball analogy, what makes a great team is not that the coach is there at practice and at the game by himself. We'll never win a game by ourselves. But I'll ne- if I'm the coach, I show up at the game every single day. We're not going to win the game unless the players show up. And a great team isn't a great team unless there's great players. And you guys are this team's players. You guys are Team Beachbody's players, and I need you showing up to practice. I need you working harder than you've ever worked before. And guys, the result of that is going to be you're going to be achieving your goals. It's going to be painful. It's going to be a lot of struggle, but on the other side of pain is success. On the other side of pain is, is happiness. On the other side of pain is you breaking, having your breakthroughs, and you'll never make those breakthroughs unless you go through the pain. So let's struggle together. Let's fail together. Let's sprint around the bleachers. Um, around the stadiums together because we're, we're, we're failing miserably. Um, Darren Hardy shared in his presentation, if you didn't text in and get the presentation, on the other time, ta- like it's a pendulum swing. You can't just have success. You've got to swing the pendulum to the failure and the pain side and it's going to swing back to the, the success side. And I feel like I, I went through the first two years of massive, massive pain working 12 hour days and sleeping three hour nights to build this business, it swung to success and it's been a success for far too long. And so now it's swung this past year back to the massive pain side. You guys can feel the pain in this video as I started this video. I'm in it and I'm gonna continue to stay in that so that it can swing back. And I want you guys to swing back with me. So get in the pain zone with me. Guys, I love you guys and let's, uh, let's go do this. Um, love you. And I'm, I'm grateful that you're a part of this with me, but we have so much more to do. Peace.